little button right here. It's for the fan, if you see. It turns, we got cabinets, hardwood, cabinets, I guess those leaks in. Uh, when we got the camper, we re re redid the whole roof. So, but it's, it's pretty quiet. They have these quiet, uh, quiet air conditioning units in here. But, IG Farms, all about God. Yeah, we off in the camper today. <clears throat> and uh, one of my neighbors uh, sent me a message and said that he saw my video from, from yesterday that we posted about uh, cleaning up the farm camper. And he said that he had a couple of people that was interested in, in, in looking at the inside of the camper that might be interested in buying it when we get ready to sell it. So I'm gonna do a quick just walk through through the camper. And as you see, we got IG Farms on the screen back here. Back here, make sure you go in and hit that subscribe button. As you see in that, that top right hand corner up there, we got some good videos that we posted in the last couple weeks. Uh, <clears throat> definitely check out the 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 visit from Sandy House, our pig mentor. We got some good spirit spiritual videos. Got some older videos from in the past. You know, you definitely got to check out some of the the old videos on gravity fed water system. Videos on building the the uh, the Farrowin pen and all those type things. Yeah, we got some good videos. So y'all go check them out. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button. Ring that notification bell so you can get all of our videos, get all of our posts as we post them. You know, we just a first generation farm trying to, you know, develop this farm by faith. You know, without without getting any type of debt, doing it all debt free. You know, we try to, you know, take our time and <clears throat> if we make purchases, you know, to make those purchases in cash. And that's one of the reasons why we we're we're we're, we're, we're desiring to sell this camper is so that we can, you know, move forward with getting a cabin or something like that. Have a little funds to get a cabin. But anyway, so go go in and check out the the YouTube channel. It's IAG Farms. It's I dot A dot G. It's all about God. Check us out. See if you enjoy it. And if you do, hit the subscribe button and and share these videos with somebody that you think that that that, that would like them and that they would encourage. Yep, yep, yep. All right, so let's get to this tour. <clears throat> so I guess I'll start in the bedroom. So this camper has two two bedrooms. On this side, when you first come in the door, that's the door there. When you first come in, you have like this little section here. It's for like your uh, hanging up, you know, jackets and stuff like that. You got a little jacket hook, things like that. Yeah. One of the glasses is missing because, uh, and I actually had a glass. It just needs to be glued back up there. And uh, it just pretty much just sits right in there and you just put a little glue. I can, I can do that. I had that done before we uh, sell it. As you can see, this glass just has a little glue right there. And it just fits right in there. But the glue kind of just dry rotted. And, and I need to put some more glue in there. But we do have that glass that goes there. You got cabinets up top. Uh, you got plenty of cabinets. Plenty, plenty of places for storage. And uh, cabinets down low. We keep stuff like boots and things like that right there. And then you have a little section right here where you can put some boots set. And a little section here with a little overhang on the... The, the cabinet where you can put some stools at and things like that and uh, we have a little board up there we hadn't erased it because we had it turned the other way but got a little board there a little dry erase board where you can like write stuff down things like that reminders you have the flat screen TV there and that TV we put that in that's one of the the, the improvements that we made we put in the flat screen because this camper used to have I'm gonna turn my flash on there we go. That's a whole lot better. Turn some light on so we can see. It's kind of dark and I don't have all the lights on. But it used to have a little TV that would go right there back in the day because this is a 2004 uh, model and it's 40 feet long actually if you measure it. But it but it says 35 feet long because they don't account for the the fifth wheel that hangs over the truck. You know for 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 you know road regulations and things like that. But the actual camper is 40 feet long all together. But they used to have an old TV here and an old little box TV. You know, we want to make an improvement, so we put in a flat screen, and that flat screen does just come off of there. So when you pulling it, you know it won't be up there and won't fall down. All right, so let's move on into the master bedroom. So first, let's start right here. So you have air, air condition. I'm gonna turn it on for you real quick. And the air condition is on the thermostat. I don't know if you can hear it when it came on or not, but it's it's pretty quiet. They have these quiet uh, quiet air conditioning units in here. But the air conditioner is on the thermostat, so once it re meets the temperature, it, it cuts off just like your air conditioner in your house or whatever. So I'm going to turn it off. You have heat furnace. The heat is heated by two, I think they're, I don't know how many gallons those propane, propane tanks are. But it has two propane tanks, and the furnace is, is heated by the propane tank. 
and you can also uh <clears throat> turn on this air condition because it has two air conditions it has the air condition there and this air conditioner in here in the bedroom the master bedroom and those are both on separate dials so this air condition that's in here is on this thermostat here and that has air conditioning and heat and this air conditioning in here is on its own little knob system you have to turn this one on and off it doesn't have a thermostat so pretty much this air condition let me turn you around has the option for heat as well so you have air and heat from this system here for this room just in case the air and heat don't don't get all the way in here from this room but everything works as it should uh, let me step on in here you have the bed this is a queen size bed it's a camper queen so it's a little bit short uh, that's how they make them so that you'll have room and uh this is a slide out this 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 camper has two slide outs and uh <clears throat> we've made a lot of improvements this wall here we painted it and put in some wallpaper and things like that because uh when we first got the camper we we, we bought the camper from kind of like a uh we bought it from a person but it was kind of like an auction type setup you know he bought it from the auction we bought it from him and we kind of did a deal together or whatever so we were able to get it for for cheap but we did a whole lot of improvements and did, it, it was a it was a little bit of, of of leaking going on at the top of this slide out but we replaced all of that replaced the roof and fixed all the leaks and all those type of things replaced all the wood and all those type of things and we planted this wall put up some nice looking wallpaper put in the little lights and things like that a little mirror and uh see you got your closet over there you got two sides you got one side for you know uh the male side and the female side for for clothes got a little storage up there you got little lights tucked off in everywhere you got a little light right there in your closet that you can turn on uh <clears throat> this was the spot where the old tv went and like i said i just got my hats there like i said it's, it's a farm camper so <laughs> you know it's gonna be muddy boots and uh hats and things like that everywhere but uh I just kind of stuff my hats up there. It's just a little storage now because you know we those little box TVs that you know we don't use those anymore. So I have a flat screen in here, and uh, pretty much all these TVs and things they, you know, they can come with the camper, you know, if you want them. But uh, if you don't, you know, then I guess we can keep them. But most likely we would like to, you know, sell everything as as just one. But uh, as you see, you got drawers here. You got you got six drawers, plenty plenty of room for storage. You got storage up here. Same thing with that glass there. A lot of these glasses, the the glue on them is is starting to just dry rot. Not 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 dry rot, but just get too dry and like kind of like flake off. And you just need to put more glue. But I had that glass as well. And uh, as you see, you just got more storage up there. Uh, you see you got carpet in here, all through the floor. I I cut the carpet right there because I had to when I replace this slide out and all this wood. I had to replace this wood down here as well. So I cut the carpet there and I never patched it back in, but that's something you could do on your own. It shouldn't be too much, just one little section there. You have a little sink here, storage underneath. As you see, everything is in good shape. And then you have your little, little medicine cabinet here where you can keep all of your, your toothbrushes and brushes, combs and all those type of things. You have a shower here, it's pretty tall. I'm about 5'9". And I, I fit in this shower comfortably. Uh, someone up to about six feet will fit in that shower comfortably. And uh, you have a nice mirror here. You have a bathroom in here as well in the master bedroom. And uh, yeah, so nice little bathroom with a toilet. That toilet is hooked up and it has a black holding tank that goes to that toilet. And there's a holding tank that goes to this shower as well. And uh, you have your little light switches here. Turn on all your lights. All the lights work as they should. This one I think you have to turn on with your with your hand. But all the lights work as that should. Let me step back and kind of let you see again what's going on in here. So you got your bed, your master bedroom. And it's actually upstairs. Yeah, you this is your master bedroom. It's pretty, pretty nice size. Like I said, guys, it has a full bathroom. Bath the toilet is in there. It has a sink and it has a shower. Full bathroom. And that's the master bedroom. So let's walk on. And also it has a fan. This little button right here. It's for the fan, if you see. It turns the fan on and off. You know, it's it's very rare <laughs> to have a, a ceiling fan in the in a camper because campers are usually so short and so low. Let's see if I can show you how tall this camper, how, how tall the ceiling is. Like, I'm, I'm fully extended. And like I said, I'm about 5'9", so my hand is probably about seven feet tall. And as you can see, I'm still not touching the ceiling. 
this camper has eight foot ceilings. Like that's <laughs> unheard of. You know, unheard of. So it has eight foot ceilings. Like there, there are a lot of mobile homes like they don't have eight foot ceilings. Like they have like seven foot ceilings and things like this. Might even be nine foot ceilings. I don't know, but you guys, it's, it's pretty. It feels huge in here because of those tall ceilings. But as you can see, you got cabinets, hardwood cabinets. I guess they're wood, or they, they they have to be some type of wood. I don't know if they're hardwood or not, but. Anyway, I don't know too much about all the details and all that stuff, but they're in good shape. They're, the cabinets in the camper are, are, are nicer than the cabinets <laughs> in our house. But as you see, got all the cabinets. There. They all function well. They all slide and do what they should do. As you see, we're moving into the kitchen area now. You have a stove here. Got an oven. And then under here are your burners, your eyes. And they all work. All of them work as they should. The oven works as it should. And then this is all powered by propane. You have a little spot for your spices here. For your seasons and spices. You have a microwave here. This microwave works sometimes and it doesn't work sometimes. Uh, the fan still works under there. Uh, and the light, it has a light on it as well. For your cooking things. Uh, I don't know if this is a smart microwave or not. But it is Samsung. But we, we, we really don't mess with it too much. We have a, another little microwave over there. And that microwave can come with the camper as well. Like I say, anything you see in here, like as far as like microwaves, TVs, and things like that, they'll come with the camper. So you have your sink. And then you have these two little things that sit on top. They're cutting boards. And so you can, you know, have more counter space if you need it. You know, and this is, this is a really revolutionary as far as campers. You know, all this counter space. You know, usually a camper doesn't have this extra counter space here so you have a bunch of counter space all of your windows work they open you just twist this little thing here and your windows open up so you can let some fresh air in and you can look out and see what's out there everything works as it should uh, you have right now we're running the hot water tank off of electric or plugged into power but you can also run the hot water tank to heat your water up off of, off of propane and it gets just as hot and then you have a holding tank where you can put fresh water in. All these little buttons work as they should. Uh, you have a pump that you turn on that works as it should. Like I say, everything you know works as it should. Uh, and I'll tell you about this bathroom once I get back there. But you have a little eating area. As you see, we have little stools there where the boys sit and eat. And we have these two uh, two recliners here. And and you can put a couch in anything like that if you want to. But yeah, we just got these plugs all over. Got the coffee maker plugged in over there. You got windows all around. You actually have a radio that's, that's Bluetooth that you can hook up. And speakers go all the way throughout that. And that's a customization that we did as well. The radio, you hook it up to your phone with Bluetooth. And there are speakers all throughout the whole camper that you can, can hook up to. And if you have a TV that can hook up to the Bluetooth, you can have the sound all the way through the entire camper. But yeah, as you see, no leaks. No leaks. And you're welcome to come on a rainy day and, and, and see that there are no leaks. Any leaks that were there in the beginning, we, we patched those leaks. And uh, when we got the camper, we re, 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 redid the whole roof. So And we redid this whole slide-out roof because there were some problems with leaks on this, this side. You know, like I said, we got it for a cheap price, but we had to spend, you know, a few thousand dollars to get it to where it was uh, functionable and, 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 and didn't have any leaks and, you know, all those type of things. Hardwood floors, new hardwood floors. The only problem is when we did these floors, we, we put the floor in there a little bit too thick because, uh, you know, you have to know things about campers that, you know, everything on the camper is like smaller and cheaper. And so we, we, we redid the camper with, you know, home grade stuff, you know, the good stuff. And the floor is just a little bit too thick and the slide out slides in and out good. But sometimes it'll kind of catch and you would have to kind of like, uh, you know, pull down here as you slide in on it but it, go, it goes in and out good goes in and out good and those controls to slide to slide out in and out are there and they all function properly we, we, we replaced all that that's that's all brand new there uh, so let's move on back to let me show you the refrigerator you have a refrigerator this refrigerator can operate off of uh, power or it can operate off of gas same way pretty much everything the refrigerator and the freezer they can operate either off of uh, a plug-in power or they can operate off gas off propane tanks it's a blessing because you can actually cool your your food with propane 
This is a blessing. You can heat and cool with propane. Got your pantry over here. It's pretty nice. Has some drawers at the bottom that slide out. You have to kind of lift up on them. Yeah, there's one down there as well. It slides out. Uh, let's see. Just a little storage up there. And then back here is what's amazing <laughs> because this camper has washers and dryers. Let me show you. You push that over to dry. I'm going to show you that it works. Can you hear it? Let me see. See, it's Tia, Tia Turner. So you have the opportunity to wash your clothes and dry your clothes. Uh, and that's, that's a blessing there. Uh, the washing machine works as well. You know, got the little door here up top. And the boys, I tried to get them to clean that room up. And, and, and the propane, the uh, heater vents are all the way throughout the, the camper. You see the heater vents on the floor. So you can get it all. And just look how big it is. Like, it's like, man, that's that's the size of a, a mobile home. <laughs> For real. Yeah, but so let's turn back around this way. And now we're going, you have a door going into this this back bedroom this is called a bunk house this is a, a 35 foot bunk house bh and like i say it's actually 40 foot when you measure with a tape measure but according to the regulations it's 35 feet because you have five feet to hang over the truck when it's hooked up and yeah and and, and if you need me to deliver this camper if you buy it i can also deliver it you know uh for four feet as well you know because i do have a big diesel truck because you're not gonna be able to move this camper with just a regular regular uh one ton truck you need a big you know diesel to, to move it because it's pretty heavy yeah but but i can't deliver it for you but yeah we got bunk house got two bunk beds back here and uh i was in the process of doing some changes back here and i was thinking about because it has a little closet here and this really is a waste of space you know this little old closet you can't really do anything with it i was thinking about and maybe you could do this on your own like taking this whole closet out and like opening up some space back here and uh so you have your bathroom back here in the boys room so you have two bathrooms in this camper quick interjection in the video when i was showing you the toilet back here in this bathroom here i forgot to tell you that we're going to put a composting toilet in and uh we have it brand new in the box as you can see we hadn't even put it in but a composting toilet makes it so you won't have to empty tanks and you can compost you know the you know the waste or whatever and uh we're gonna put that in this bathroom so that you'll be able to dry camp you know, a lot of people, uh, you know, don't don't have hookups to where they can hook up to a septic tank with things like that. And so that that bathroom, if you have hookups for a septic tank, you can hook, you can hook up to that that toilet. But if you don't, we have a composting toilet in this bathroom. So, you know, you'll you'll be able to 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 camp without hooking up to septic. So that's that's a feature. And this toilet, uh, you can look it up. This is a Nature's Head composting toilet. Uh, you can look it up and uh, see how much it costs. But this toilet is over a thousand dollars you know and like i said it's brand new because uh they, they work so well to compost the waste and things like that but just want to make that interjection in the video enjoy the rest of the video you have a toilet there and you have a sink and a lot of storage down there you have a medicine cabinet up there as well as you see no leaks no leaks you have your bathroom fan let's see I, it's kind of high up there like i said it's high ceiling so i'm gonna turn the lights on for you Show you that the lights work. Everything works as it should. I believe this camper is priced at about, like in Kelly Blue Book, it's priced at like 13,000. And that's pretty much what it's worth, you know, but we're not trying to get 13,000 for it. You know, we, the price is negotiable, but we will probably take about maybe 8,000. Uh, and like I said, it's negotiable. Well, uh, it's someone that's around this area, we'll probably take like 7,500 for it, somewhere in that area. Like I said, I know I know you saw the other video and you saw that we didn't pay seventy five hundred for it. But when we bought it, you know, it was like I say through an auction type setup, and uh, it wasn't really. We had to do a whole lot of work to it, and uh, we're really not trying to make a whole lot of profit off of it. We're just trying to get the cash in hand so that we can move forward on, you know, putting a building a cabin down here. We've kind of gotten past that uh, camper stage down here on the farm. But yeah, so you know, if there's any questions, you know, uh, feel free to. Uh, leave some comments in the comment section and I can answer any questions that you have like I say uh, we'll, we'll probably be ready to actually sell this camper in Four to six months. We should be ready uh, But if you come with the right price, you can get it today <laughs> For real if you give me eight thousand you can get it today, but but Like I said, I'm really thinking about selling it for around 7,500 like I said, it's, it's a little bit wiggle, a little bit of wiggle room in there as far as the price 
you know, because I'm not trying to get rich off of it. You know, I'm trying to give you a fair deal. You know, and I'm I'm really not a a, a, a haggler. A lot of people they 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 sell stuff and they want to haggle. They want to set the price too high so that, so because they, they know people gonna haggle them and things like that. That's really not me. I I, I just want to get a fair price for it. You know, and that's that's all I want. But it's IG Farms. It's all about God. Like I said, make sure you go on up there and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, it's all about God. You know, we just trying to document this this journey that we're on to develop this first generation farm. But we'll see y'all on the next one. And like I said, if you have any interest in the camper, just leave a comment below. Or the ones who uh, talk to Alan and, and our family members of Alan, you know, you're welcome to come down and look at it. Like I said, you can come down on a day that it's raining to, to, to ensure that there are no leaks. And uh, anything, any way that we can help, we're willing to help. You know, we're 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 good God fearing people, and uh, we love Jesus, and we would love to sit down, talk with you, and walk you through the camper and pray with you. But it's all it's all it's all about God. IG Farms. We'll see y'all on the next one.